Holy crap, that thing is loud. Coming down the road, I was like, oh no, what is that? Looks like everybody likes Ferraris here. But another car just pulled up. And look, here goes the Aston Martin. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another video here. Today we are in BGC. If you do not know what BGC is, it stands for Bonifacio Global City, and it is an area in Metro Manila that is where some of the more wealthy people live. Now, as you might be able to see around me, I'm in uptown area right now. This is actually Mitsukashi Mall over here, and I'm gonna work my way into the other part of BGC towards High Street today for one special reason. So a subscriber on the second channel mentioned to me and said, why don't you make a video about the car culture here in BGC? And I was like, oh, hmm, that's a good idea. I have seen some very nice cars around BGC, but apparently Sunday is the day to see them. Today is Sunday, and right now it is nine o'clock in the morning. So apparently these people, they like to go out on a Sunday morning, meet for coffee and park their cars and stuff. So we're gonna see what kind of supercars, what kind of fancy cars we see around here. But first, I need to get some coffee. So we're gonna head right over here to Starbucks. All right, got the Starbucks. 190 pesos. Oh man, I'm telling you, Starbucks coffee, one of the best in the world. But apparently, the guys that have all these nice cars that come out here on Sunday, they like to hang out for coffee. Apparently, I don't know. We're gonna find out, I'm about one block away from Uptown Mall, so I'm gonna look around that area. Let's go. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet, damn ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. All right, guys, found two sports cars. Not the best sports cars, but there's something, something to start this video. I have found two cars so far, and they're the only ones here, and they're actually parked in the road where it's not really parking, so I guess they get some sort of special privilege, I don't know. But I'm at the Uptown Mall area, this intersection here, and also you have Randy's Donuts, you have a few uh, breakfast places and whatnot, but it looks like we have a muscle car, a modern day muscle car, such as the 5.0 Mustang. It is white with some stripes. And then we also have a Porsche. And it's actually one of the better Porsches because it is a, a Porsche GT3 RS, I believe, which is one of the better ones, one of the racing ones. Um, there are many Porsches that are for luxury and daily drivers. So these are just two of them that I'm seeing so far. Maybe more will show up. We'll see, but I'm also gonna walk around and look in more areas. I love sports cars, and I love to appreciate how beautifully made they are. And sometimes when I see them, when I hear them, it like makes the hair on my neck, on my arms just stand up because they are really just so beautiful. And as I was about to leave this area, right now I'm at the top of the Uptown Mall here to get a nice view of the intersection. This is the best place to see them, especially that the restaurants aren't really open yet. And all of a sudden I heard, Down the road I was like oh no what is that as I was about to go down it turns out to be two Ferraris a red one and a white one and then also a Rolls-Royce just rode by As you can see behind me, and now another Ferrari just pulled up, a blue one. It looks like everybody likes Ferraris here. I'm not too crazy on the Ferraris. They are nice, but to me, it's not a car that I would personally want to own, I don't think. Maybe. But that one's really nice. I like the blue color. Very different. We have a red, we have a white, and we have a blue. That's the colors of the Philippines there, right? Just need yellow now in the USA. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a walk all the way up the street to see if there's anything else happening up the road. Now, if you want to know where exactly you can see these supercars here on Sunday, the street is called 9th Avenue. So it runs all the way down 
And then the cars are parked outside of Wildflower Cafe, across from Uptown Mall. I've walked up the street probably about five or six blocks, and then I heard the GT3 RS and the Mustang take off. And I look back down the road and now I see the Ferraris are taking off as well. I don't know if there's a time limit on how long they can be on the edge of the road there, but it seems that they're driving around now. Maybe they're just cruising, maybe they're looking for a new spot to just park up at. I don't know. The Ferraris are over here on the same 9th Avenue, about three blocks up, just on the side of the road. Uh, the cars are on, lights are on, so I don't know what's happening here. But I'm still just trying to hang out to see what is happening. Alright, you can see them here. Here comes all the Ferraris. They're lined up. They're kind of slow crawling. I don't know why, but yeah, they're just creeping. We got one, we got two, we got three, and we got four. I really have no idea why they're moving, but I want to go over here and try to catch them as they come around the block. Better run. Might not catch them. Okay guys, I have a good idea where they are going. I think it's either of two places. One is this parking lot over here. There's actually a couple parking lots where people can park up at. It's right over here next to High Street, next to Terra 28th Park. So I'm gonna check that out first. If they're not there, I think they went to Burgo Circle because I believe on Burgo Circle, you can park on the street, especially on the weekend or maybe just on Sunday. Okay guys, as you can see behind me is the parking lot. There's actually a couple of them. This is on 9th Avenue and 30th Avenue, I believe. Or is it 30th Street? 30th Street and 9th Avenue. So I know about these parking lots. Sometimes people like to park there. But to be honest, I don't know. It might be difficult for supercars to get up into because it is raised a little bit. There is a little incline, I think, going in. I don't know, but you also probably have to pay for parking. So they're not there. So my guess is it's Burgo Circle. Burgo Circle is about a 13 minute walk from here, half a mile. So we're gonna head down there and hopefully catch them. It's a pretty quiet morning in BGC, I can tell you that. Okay guys, I've made it down here to Burgos Circle. It is now 10.30 to give you kind of some sense of time. I'm absolutely sweating from walking down here. The humidity, the heat is starting to kick up. So it's very, very sweaty to walk around a lot. But I'm gonna go this way, down Burgos Circle towards uh, Forbes Town. Um, there's an area over there where there's usually a lot of food trucks, restaurants and stuff. See if they're over there. If they're not, I really don't know where they went. Um, I came out here at 9 o'clock. I thought it was enough time, but I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, right? Okay, they're definitely down here. I hear their engines and stuff, their exhaust echoing in the background. Okay, guys, we got a few of them. We got a few different ones. These are different ones than the ones I saw earlier. Let's check them out here. Let's see what we got. All right, first up, we got a basic GT Mustang. We got a nice Lamborghini first one. We got a Rolls Royce and we got another Porsche in the background. guys to be completely honest this whole car spotting thing right now it's turning out to be very difficult there are definitely a lot of cars and they're moving around constantly because they're going to cafes they're going to restaurants they're taking off but I want to say right here on Burgo Circle what I see or what I have saw you have that red Mustang it doesn't look that great but let me tell you when they started up and it drove away that thing is a beast you can just hear it also there was a nice Porsche that was owned and driven by some foreigners I believe that Rolls Royce is super nice, of a luxury kind of car. And of course, another Porsche did drive by, but it wasn't really anything too special. But here comes a GTR, look at this. I 
my god, that GTR right there, that gray, like gunmetal looking one, holy crap, that thing is loud. And it's got all sorts of body kits on it, it's got like all sorts of uh, modifications to it. That is a very beautiful car. Nissan GTRs are definitely one of my favorite. Here in uh, BGC and actually Metro Manila, I have seen I think three or four GTRs. That was a different one. I haven't seen that one yet. I've seen a black one. I've seen also another like grayish one. And then this, um, this one that just passed. So that's also a favorable car here in Metro Manila, just like the Ferraris. All right, let's keep walking. Let's see if we can find some more. It looks like they're driving around and they're enjoying these open roads, quiet roads with space uh, before the traffic picks up today. Okay guys, found a couple more sports car over here just up the road from uh, Burgos Circle. Oh boy, look at that. We got an Aston Martin. Take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling. Okay guys, it turns out that the restaurant called Wildflower is the place to be. This is the other location here in BGC and this is where the other cars are parked up. Behind me, Aston Martin, you have the Porsche. You also have a Range Rover and stuff like that. So many of the cars are driving by here. So this seems like one of the other uh, popular spots to meet up for the cars. And as you can tell, there's people all around here. There's people over there taking photos. Some people have GoPros, some people have cameras. So the question is, do I hang around here for a little bit and try to see if anything else comes? Or do I walk to another area and see the if I can see any other cars I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen them Ferraris though. I don't know where they went. And if you want to know where this location is, the other Wildflower restaurant, it is 4th Ave and 26th Street, right on the corner you can find it. So every Sunday, I guess, they come here very often. As you can see down the road here too, everyone's just waiting for more cars to come. Now I want to say one of the most difficult things about taking videos of these cars or even good pictures is that so many people just like to stand around them. I don't know why. It's like, if it's not yours, kind of move away, take your videos, let other people get a nice picture without you being next to it. But some people are like standing right on top of the car pretty much, which is not cool. Okay guys, I was actually just talking to another foreigner that was walking by here. Um, but another car just pulled up. And look, here goes the Asha Martin. Man, those cars there are so beautiful. I feel like I keep saying Ashton. I think it's an Aston Martin, if I'm not mistaken. I think my pronunciation is just going off on that. But yeah, very beautiful. But I think a Ferrari just pulled up. So I'm gonna walk over here and try to get some videos of it. It might be one of the Ferraris from earlier. I can't tell from this distance, but let's find out. So I just met a local Filipino guy here. Uh, with a channel name called JCCV the artist and he covers a lot of cars here in Metro Manila so if you guys want to see more of those more often I definitely recommend checking out his channel because he's here documenting all the different cars as well and uh, it was nice to speak to somebody and kind of hear about the call culture here so definitely uh, subscribe to his channel as you will see a lot of car content as I was talking to him, he was telling me that here in the Philippines, a lot of local people, Filipinos, they really love to see the Ferraris and maybe the Lambos because these cars are super exotic, they're difficult to get, and they have so much power, right? And so these are the cars they look for the most. So they always come out here on Sundays and they try to spot them. And of course, I was talking to him, I wasn't filming. I should have started filming, but I didn't even think about it. I was just uh, having a good chat with that guy. But now it is about quarter after 11 so I don't know how many more cars we're gonna see there's still people hanging out around this spot by wildflower cafe but I think I'm gonna go for a walk and see if I see anything else unless I hear something coming in the distance but I think that's it all right guys I'm walking around the streets and I just spotted a yellow Lamborghini the nicest Lamborghini I've seen so far I'm gonna try to catch it on the other block I don't know where it's going <laughs> I tried to get a clip of that yellow Lamborghini. I think it was a Lamborghini Aventador. Again, I'm not so sure on the models of the Lamborghinis. I could be totally wrong. But as you see from this video already, I've corrected it with the correct model as I was able to look it up. But I also want to say, I just saw a white Alfa Romeo. I have not seen an Alfa Romeo here 
in uh, Metro Manila yet. That's my first time in those cars. Man, they're beautiful as well. That'd be a nice daily driver. The time now is 11.30, so there's 30 minutes until noon. And I believe at that time, the streets are going to be more open, more traffic, and you can't really park on the side of the road like you've seen at some of the locations I've gone. So there's not much time left to see more of these cars, but maybe I could find a couple, I don't know. Going back to the uptown area and seeing if there's any over here. But I'll tell you what, I'm exhausted from walking everywhere. It is now 12 o'clock on the dot, so I, I think this supercar show, supercar run around BGC here is coming to an end. Okay. I want to put some final thoughts on this video of running around chasing these, you know, supercars, fancy cars here in BGC today. Now first, if you do want to see these cars in BGC when you are visiting, make sure you come to BGC on a Sunday. And make sure you're here Sunday morning in between 8 and 12 a.m. as that's when you will see the most of them. Now what I have learned today about trying to find and spot these cars is that it is very difficult and that you will walk a lot. If I was to do it again, I think I would rent one of those city bicycles and just ride around and do it that way. It'd be much easier to move around. But the best place to be it seems is to be near Burgo Circle, Forbes Town, that whole road, that strip there as they are riding around quite a lot. And then to also be near the cafes called Wildflower. There are two locations. I did put them in the video so you can see where they are. I'll link them below as well. Those are gonna be your, your best chances for spotting these cars. It was very difficult to really get good clips of some of them. Some of them I could only catch from far away because it's very hard to tell where they're going. They're also using the roads that have the least congestion and also probably the roads that have the least amount of speed bumps as the speed bumps can really destroy some of these cars that are very low. Now my goal wasn't really to go around and try to interview people because to me it's not really my style and I'm not really trying to get into people's space. I'd rather just see these cars and see how they sound, how they look and stuff, right? From what I could tell is the drivers, the owners of these cars are ranging. You know, some of them are older people, some of them are young. And uh, I don't know what they do. Maybe some of them have some uh, sort of success with the business. Maybe some of them are in the stock and trading world, crypto, who knows. But I'm sure there's other videos about that. Now, the one thing I really did notice about these supercars here in BGC is that these drivers, they like to get out and try to just, you know, make them go fast, get a little stretch of road where they can you know, actually put the car to use and how it's supposed to be because here in Metro Manila, it's very difficult with the conditions of the road, as I already said. So you will see them. They will be trying to rev the engine a little bit. They're trying to, you know, go one block as fast as they can and stop without getting in trouble, of course, because you can't really do that here. And there are a lot of security making sure that they are following the rules. But in total, I saw probably at least 12 different cars, I think. Now the one car that I couldn't quite get close enough to is that Lamborghini. That probably looked like one of the best cars I saw today, but I could only get like a one second clip of it. So I'll try to freeze frame it for you guys right here. But it was very, very beautiful. Well guys, as I said, there were a few cars that I didn't get to see that I was really hoping for, but maybe I will next time. I hope you enjoyed today's video of chasing down these luxury cars and let me know what you thought. It's always good to hear your guys' opinions and comments. Definitely give the video a like if you thought it was good and uh, consider subscribing because there's a lot coming. So I'll see you guys soon from the next video. Peace.